Launching a shopping campaign without linking your Google Ads account with your Google Merchant Center is like driving a Ferrari with a handbrake on. And what if I told you in the next 60 seconds, you'll learn to unleash your product feed, start showing your items in front of high intent shoppers, and finally turn those clicks into sales. Hi, I'm Tim from Launchpresso, and today I'll walk you through how to connect your Google Ads account to your Google Merchant Center so your products can start selling for themselves. So stick around to the end because I'll show you not just one, but two ways on how you can connect these properties together. Before we dive in, if you're looking for help with your Google Ads or your Meta Ads to position them and prepare them to scale, hit me up in the link in the description below or the first pinned comment. Reach out to me through the website and I'll get in touch with you as soon as possible. Love to hear from you. Let's dive in. And here we are back at my test Shopify store, cheapcampergear.net. And to connect your Google Ads account to your Google Merchant Center, first thing you need to do is come across to the left-hand side under Tools, come to Data Manager, select that, and then scroll down. You can either connect the property by the big blue plus button and you can search for the data source or you can quite easily see it here. You can also scroll down to find the featured products here and it's usually the first one on the top left. So just click that one. Now there's a couple of ways you can connect it. One here is to link through the business manager like so. Now you can do that if you want. If you do have a physical location, I would recommend doing this. You can actually connect most of your properties through a business manager into your Google Ads account. Previous videos I've shown you how to do it individually. If you link them all through one business manager account, it can make life so much easier. That's definitely one way but for the simple wave today so if I just quickly continue on that you can see how quickly and simple you can link that together just by clicking that link the review and confirm that you're linking Google Ads account to your business manager this means super admins can have access to your Google Ads account if they have that level of access in the business manager and you can click link but I will not do that today just exit quickly back out of that click back in we're going to link directly to the Google Merchant Center like so you can click that click continue double check that it is the Google Merchant Center account usually this will be the one that's associated with the email if you have set up the Google Ads account with the same email as the Google Merchant Center they should pop up like if not you can always send a request you can get the merchant ID but today we do have that so we can click next just double check all the details here for data sharing and whatnot you can click submit and you're linked pretty simple stuff now that's one way to do it you can also do it in reverse and I'll show you how to do that real quick so just quickly click done under the managing link here I can just break that connection click manage and unlink on the bottom left click unlink and we can see there's no linked accounts yet you can always go back and click and link again we'll come inside the merchant center itself and if we come to the settings and tools button right here so we click that come under apps and services and we can add a service and we can see here you've got multiple different ways to connect it as well also the Google business profile pops up here should you want to connect through that but as we can see here we've got the Google Ads account where we want to have a direct linking to so then we click next and we can see here cheap camping gear already pops up because it's associated with the email address you can also click a new account should you wish you can go through and work through those details if it's brand new Google Ads account or account that you don't manage you find the Google Ads customer ID and you can just drop that in it's a 10 digit ID and click next but for now we have the account already associated let's click next and it pops up with the option here to link the Google Ads account to the business manager. You can get richer insights, improved campaign performance, and there's a lot of other blah, blah, blah that you can read through. Now you can either click link or you can link to the Merchant Center only. Completely up to you and how you want to link them together. But today I'm going to be linking through the Merchant Center only. I will click link and we can see here that a request has been sent. So we'll come back to the Google Ads account itself. Let's click refresh under the connected products. Looks like I have to come back to the data manager. Now you usually get a request sent it to the email that's associated with this Google Ads account. I haven't received one yet, probably because I've been disconnecting, reconnecting multiple times through this video. And also in the Google Ads account, I cannot see here where I should receive a notification. Usually it would pop up here on the right and you would usually go ahead and approve that. Otherwise, there's always that first way I mentioned before by coming through and selecting this method to get them connected together. As you can see, pretty simple stuff. Either way, you can link the Google Ads account to the Google Merchant Center. Pretty straightforward process. Now, if you're looking to position your Google Ads account for your Shopify store to be able to scale for profitability, reach out to me in the link in the description below or the first pinned comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'll get back to you, see how I can possibly help. And with that said, thanks for watching. Bye for now.